Hi guys, this is a video on Windows tips. I received a message uh, eight minutes ago by Dark Mysterio 23 so you can see if you ask me any questions I'll try and answer them as quickly as possible. Uh, he says, man you sure are doing work on these videos, nice job. Any tips for making your computer a tad faster? That'd be a good one to talk about, thanks later. So, yep. All you have to do, uh, some quick ways of doing it is firstly to uh, press Alt Control Delete and you'll find yourself in Task Manager. Click this Mem Usage thing here, uh, and this may be slightly different for Vista users, but you click the Mem Usage here. Um, one reason why your computer may be slow if you're running Vista is because you're running Vista, and I su strongly suggest you go down to XP, but um, that might make a few people angry by saying that, but hey. Um, as you can see, Firefox is using 70 meg of my RAM, iTunes is using 58, so um, you just look for the most resource intensive things that you've got and try and find alternatives to them, like Windows Live Messenger is using 25 and it's not even doing anything, it's just minimised, so I think I've already made a video on um, alternatives to this, which are a lot, a lot lighter on resources, so uh, you just want to Google most of these really to find out what they do, what they are, and you might find that you have something here that you that suddenly flags up as spyware and then you will need to run a spyware scan which is another option which I'll go into in a second um, so this is the process, this is just finding instantly what's running on your computer as you can see I've got 57 processes running I mean that to be honest is too much, I recommend about 40 if you really want to uh, speed up your system that's for XP anyway I think Vista uses a bit more and you can see in the performance tab, this is um, this is important because if this is very very high, then that means that you need to basically upgrade your, your RAM, buy a few more sticks of RAM, and stick them in your computer. Because um, you see here, I've got two gigs of RAM, and I'm using 700 meg already. So this is what I've got left, uh, physical memory. So um, that's it for the task manager, really. And um, applications, that's just showing me what I've got running. Um, so once you've been in the task manager, the next one to go to is MS Config, and you want to find out what um, is in your startup, and then you can go through again. You want to Google these to see what they do. Um, if you really want to go all out, and I strongly recommend you don't do this, you can just say disable all, and then OK, and then it will just um, oh dear. <laughs> and then it will uh, start up like super quick because it won't need to start any extra programs up, but um, you'll probably find out something like, I don't know, you need something like AOL to start your internet connection or something like that and um, and you'll find that you can't get on the internet so I strongly recommend you research these before you start disabling them and um, I mean some some programs, like I had a program on mine which came with my modem which handled the internet and it came up with a uh, there was a shortcut here or something and I always had to click it to dial it but what I did is I went to my uh, network connections and I found that it had made its own connection here anyway so all I did was put this in the startup and it ran it directly from Windows instead of needing an extra client so if you go start connect to and you find your internet connection there make a shortcut to that and that will be the Windows version instead of some crappy thing that they've made um, so that's that that's the startup tab. There's also a services tab, but I don't recommend using this for disabling the services tab, especially disabling all of them. Um, I wouldn't recommend that. So we go into services.msc. Services. It's not doing it. There we go. Click it. And uh, you'll find a long list of services. Uh, all you do is click on this started tab bit. And you see, these are all the things that started on my computer, which I'm running at the moment. Print spoiler, I don't need because I've got a printer. Um, some iPod service, this is started with iTunes, so I don't need that. So you, all you have to do is double click them, start up type, disabled, and then stop. Well, I'm not going to stop it for the minute. So all of these are the things that started with your computer uh, at the moment. They're, these are all the things that are running. And then all, all these things that say automatic, uh, you can always go through. Um, Google them. There's a website I recommend actually um, for a web browser, and uh, it's called the eldergeek.com. I don't know. There you go. And he's got a services guide here, and he's basically he's got thing like these boxes here. He says the table below illustrates how I've set up the information for each service. So he's actually listed every service that you get here. Well, most of them anyway. 
Uh, so usually when you Google stuff like, I don't know, Universal Plug and Play Device Host, his website will come up. So I recommend you click his because he says, is this service needed? And it says possibly. Then recommended set setting is manual and process name services.exe. So you can also look up the process names in that alt control delete I showed you earlier. And it says default settings is manual and he recommends setting it as manual. So well, this is just an example anyway, I suppose there's a lot more. So this is the services guide. Um, there's a different thing to do for Windows Vista and there's a website called www.speedyvista.com and what he's got is um, some tweaks for your system because uh, it says Windows just has around 130 ser services according to my reports Vista is very computer intensive now this is the reason why I don't use it as well so um, you can basically go into the tweaks bit and he has made somewhere oh these are just uh, tips uh, registry files, there we go. He's made some re um, registry files and some batch files which um, have tweaked, there you go, tweaked settings and he's got safe, tweaked and minimal so you can disable your services using these so you can download the reg file, double click it and then it will disable them or run the batch file. I ran the batch file before when I was on Vista. Um, but obviously be careful when you're um, disabling services and make sure you know what you're doing because uh, you may end up disabling the wrong thing and you'll find that your DVD drive doesn't work or Windows Update doesn't work or something like that. So uh, this is the services guide. Um, let me think of what else you can do. Uh, another one is to right click my computer properties, advanced settings, visual effects. So um, that says let Windows choose what's best for my computer and it's just got everything enabled. Uh, usually Windows doesn't know what it's talking about so you just say adjust for best performance. But if you press OK you'll notice it turns all crappy and you'll have a blue background and then you'll have a random taskbar like the old style taskbar. So I recommend you have use visual styles, use drop shadows and smooth edges of screen fonts. Now use visual styles will be so you can use these things at the bottom like I've got a coloured taskbar and things like that. Use drop shadows, you'll notice that if you do uh, disable this and okay it, then you'll find that you have blocks around this text. Um, so basically this means um, if I have a wallpaper, it will just display the text and not big blocks around them. And smooth edges of screen fonts is more again for visual, so um, basically makes the fonts look better, they won't look so jaggedy. And um, I think that's about it. There's another thing that some people do, um, and that's changing the, uh, the page file or something. Um, I don't rec really recommend changing any of these. Yeah, virtual memory, you, know, you can change it. And then some people put the page file onto another computer because the page file shrinks and gets bigger and things like that. And if you put it on another drive, its own drive, then I don't know, I think it makes it quicker or something like that. Or if you put it on a flash drive, I don't know if it's possible with XP. But that's what's kind of what um, Ready Boost does in Windows Vista. So. Um, that's about it really, so these are the three or four, I can't remember how many I'll mention now, things that you can do to speed up your computer. If you know of any more then please let me know, add a comment, help the community out, and uh, thanks for watching, so please rate, comment, and subscribe if you like my videos. Thanks for watching again.